OK, this first one, I see I have 4t minus 5 times 4t plus 5. Well, I could just go ahead and multiply, FOIL that out. And it's actually the difference between two squares and get 16t squared minus 25, because that middle piece, when you FOIL it, cancels out. And thus, the derivative, bring the 2 down times 16. And then, of course, the 25 is a constant. This next one, I probably would do a couple of things. One, I would bring out the fractional part, and I would only take the derivative of the 1 over z, which is the same as z to the negative 1 power. OK, and I'm also taking the derivative here. So I bring the 2 down. That would be 26z plus 1 over 21. And the derivative of z to the negative 1 would be negative z to the negative 2. And thus, I can write that as 26z. Notice the minus, so I'm going to bring it out front. And I'm going to put the z to the negative 2 on the bottom, so the power becomes positive. All right, this next one, um, I tell all of my students that the square root, you should really just write this on your formula sheet because there's so many steps involved. So let's, let's show why. I'm going to show you the square root of x is 1 over 2 square roots of x. So I can write that as x to the 1 half power. And so I bring the 1 half down. I subtract 1, which would be 1 half minus 2 over 2, which would be negative 1 half. And then I would bring the 1 half to the bottom. And I get 1 over 2 square root of x. So I always tell students, you should just put this on a formula sheet. The derivative of the square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x. Because the reason why now, y prime, that would be what, 28t to the 6. I took 7 times 4 is 28, subtracted 1. Bring the 16 out front. I just said the square root of a variable, in this case t, is 1 over 2 square roots of t. And then this last one is like what we did over here. This would be minus 7 over t squared, because you're bringing that to the top. It'll be t to the negative 1, bring the negative down, pass it around, and all that good stuff. So the only probably other things I could do with this to make it look a little better is why not cancel, cancel that 2 into the 16? So I get minus 8 over the square roots of t, and then minus my 7 over t squared. Sorry, that kind of got jumbled up a little bit. All right, so the next one says, um, with 10 years since 2016, the height of a sand dune is given as this f of t, 650 minus 3t squared. Find f of 5. So f of 5 is just simply taking this actual function and where you see t plug in 5, so if you throw in 650 minus 3 times 5 squared into your calculator, you should get 575. And what this 575 is, is saying the sand dune will be 575 centimeters high in the year, well, 5 times 2016 in 2021. All right, let's do the same thing with the derivative. So the derivative of 650 is 0. That goes away. Minus 3t squared, so the 6 comes down. So I just get minus t. And now I plug in 5, and I get negative 30, which this is my rate in 2021, which would be centimeters per year in 2021.